What is good guys, it's your boy Stock Jay here with another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about AMC Stock, some updates and I'm going to actually do a quick case study about another company that actually squoze and how it grew by over 10,000% and I'm going to talk about how it is possible for AMC to do the exact same thing and actually surpass the $1,000 range. Now, if anything guys, I'm not going to set any dates or limits or I promise that it will you know, reach many, many thousands. I'm not going to do anything like that. And in this video, I'm just going to go over a case study and talk about why it is possible and very, very, very probable. And I'm also going to go over some other interesting updates about AMC and other big things. But before I do anything, I have to mention two quick things. First off, I'm not a financial advisor, legal expert, or taxation expert. So do not take this as legal, financial, or taxation advice. And secondly, guys, if you can, please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, but benefits the entire ape community as a whole. So with that said and done, guys, AMC is currently uh, looking pretty good. It has recovered quite a bit, but it's not at its full recovery state. Um, I'm actually recording this about almost an hour before the market closes. So this is not the end. This is not where I'm going to talk too much about AMC. I'm not going to do a technical analysis. I'm going to be doing that later. But if anything, I want to talk about something very, very interesting. And this is called how Martin Shkreli caused a 10,000% squeeze on KBIO. So for those of you who don't know, KBIO is a pharmaceutical company and there's a big pharma bro. His name is Martin Shkreli. He orchestrated a violent short squeeze on a failed biotech Kalos Bio that caused its share price to increase like crazy. And the man made a lot of money off of it. So what happened was KBIO was perceived by short sellers as a no-brainer near to term zero, near term zero. And people thought that this company had no money. It was absolutely going to fail. It had, I mean, it just failed. Everything that they had failed. Okay. They did not have money. They were, they didn't even have enough cash to pay off their $6 million in debt. So this company was doing absolutely horrible KBIO. It was delisted, uh, after as it was doing horribly however this is not the same as amc obviously people so let's just start off in the very beginning okay kbio was looked at as a horrible company to short sellers and an easy no-brainer squeeze people thought it would fall so so horrible people thought it would be going bankrupt which is why these short sellers created these positions and shorted the living hell out of it now that's very similar to what hedge funds and short sellers ended up doing to amc stock because People thought that because of what happened in the year 2020 with the lockdowns, AMC would not be able to survive. They thought it would be really easy to make a quick buck off of it when it was as low as $10 a share. And in this case, people did short it when it was about $0.44 cents a share. Now, and so for I'm talking about KBIO, by the way. KBIO was shorted when it was $0.44 cents a share. And if anything, um, it was really, really, really tough for them. And the company was on the verge of bankruptcy. Now, if anything, people want to talk about one important thing, and that is fundamentals do not matter, period. So yes, fundamentals do matter for companies. They do matter for investors in the long term and institutionalized investors and all those things. But when it comes to a short squeeze, fundamentals do not play the biggest, biggest role out there. There are other things we need to be uh, paying very close attention to, and this is one of them. So what basically happened was when all these people were shorting the company, they thought it would absolutely fall and crash. And what happened was there was a man named um, Martin Screlly who ended up buying the shares. So KBIO announced an investor group led by Martin Screlly. It was an investor group led by him. He bought more than 50% of KBIO shares. And when the market opened the next day, KBIO skyrocketed from $2 to over $14 on staggering volume. And if anything, the shorts were terrified and they scrambled for the exits. Now, what ended up happening was on November 19th of 2018, KBIO released a second announcement stating that they acquired a full 70% of the outstanding shares and that Screlly had been appointed as KBIO's new CEO and chairman. Screlly's group now say that they would inject an, an additional $3 million in cash with $10 million following the shareholder approval. And what happened was in a couple of days, a couple of trading days, KBIO reached $45 a share. And that's absolutely incredible. And what was going on, guys? Okay, I'm going to make it very simple. Screlly ended up acquiring him and his investment firm. They acquired 
over 70% of the float of KBIO. Then the short sellers ended up panicking. A lot of them started selling. And in the process of them acquiring all those shares, the price ended up going up. Now, the price did not just jump because of Screlly. It also jumped because of the short sellers covering their positions. And if you look at what happened overall, um, KBIO was a horrible, horrible company. People thought this company would be absolutely destroyed. It had no chance. Yet KBIO managed to squeeze and grow by over 10,000%. And how did that happen? Well, there was something else that actually happened. There was a forced borrow recall. Now, this is a little bit irrelevant because I don't think the same thing is going to happen to AMC. But after it hit $45, um, it, it was really, really dysfunctional. And there was a borrow recall that happened, a forced borrow recall. And that made it really, really hard for the utilization of stock to increase. And this is something really interesting. As KBIO's share price had been spiking, short interest had been growing. Now, obviously, that company did not have synthetic shares, or at least we presume it didn't. The company wasn't going through similar things as AMC, but there was a forced borrow recall. Now, AMC, obviously, that's not a really good way for AMC to squeeze because considering that AMC um, AMC is not in charge of lending out these shares. AMC is going to have a really, really hard time at finding all of them. If anything, they'll probably just find the floats and stop from there. So I, I don't think that's the promising way to do it. I think there's another detail you have to pay attention to. And it's the same thing we've been preaching over and over and over again. That is the shorts covered their positions and KBIO grew by over 10,000%. While, while um, Shkreli's, his investment firm acquires 70% of the outstanding share. Now, remember, remember guys, they had 70% of the floats. The apes currently have over 80%, not just 80%, but over 80% of the confirmed float. The confirmed float is out of the 513 million shares that have already been released. Now, the reason I know that is Adam Aaron stated more than 80% during the interview with Trade Trades yesterday. So, what we could basically learn is that there is a massive, massive upside for potential for AMC. The situation, and we could oversimplify it, okay? Let's not worry. Let's just ignore fundamentals for now. Because when we think about fundamentals, AMC is going to survive even after it squeezes. There are going to be people that still hold on to the stock. But the thing you have to know is that when the shorts cover their positions, there is an insane thing that's going to happen. Obviously, the float and the market cap of AMC are much, much higher than that of KBIO. On top of that, when the shorts cover their positions, this is not the same situation. There are going to be apes that keep on holding and keep on holding and keep on holding when we end up seeing the mother of all short squeezes. So that's the reason why I'm telling you guys the 10,000% growth. So if AMC is 38, that would, that would make it over... That would make it well over $1,000 a share. I'm not going to promise that. I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen tomorrow. No, nothing like that. I'm just letting you know that it is possible. And this is just potential evidence that we could compare AMC's current situation with and see very, very common patterns, many correlations that make it very possible. Obviously, KBIO exploded. It dropped down to the 20s. It exploded again, and then it slowly dropped back down. That's is likely going to be very similar to AMC. So I want you guys to know something very, very interesting that happened. Uh, inflation has been through the roofs, and this typically has a negative effects on the stock market. The stock market may have its down days, but despite the news coming out over the past two days, AMC is still doing well. It still has been, it has had a pretty, pretty good run. It's not great, but it's a good run. It's beginning to consolidate, but it just shows that, look, all I'm trying to say is that the apes are together and the apes are strong. The apes are working together and we are very, very, very strong. So the last thing I want to talk about, guy, is is a really, really important quote you should look at. It basically says, the day you plant the seed is not the day you eat the fruit. So always remember that, guys. The day you plant the seed is not the day, the day you eat the fruit. So all I want to say, guys, is we have to be patient and we have to keep buying and holding. I can't give financial advice. This is not financial advice, but I'm just saying if you want to increase your odds of success, if you want to increase your conviction and be more and more and more confident, you just have to buy and hold and wait it out. So patience is a virtue. Patience is key. And 
let's not depend on some kind of recall or anything like that. We just buy and hold and wait for the shorts to cover their positions because eventually they will. We just have to be patient. So thank you so much for listening and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.